are you if you're not your thoughts? I want you to think of a moment that you've been in love and you're looking at this person right in their eyes and you're just feeling in love. What would happen if in that moment you try to describe exactly with words? I'm feeling an overwhelming sense in my heart and I, uh, the expansive and uh, my mind is going to uh, potential futures with you and you would freaking ruin it versus just being in it. And so much of this, the reason it's called overthinker is because we have gotten to this place where we have become so uncomfortable with being in reality we separate ourselves in this constant thinking. Right now, I effing guarantee some of y'all got some other second conversation going on in your head right now. You're thinking about some experience, you're still caught up on when that, you know, that, that, that freaking relationship didn't work out and she kind of triggered me into that. And when we do that, we lose our anchor to reality. And so my encouragement is to spend more time without thoughts. Try that one on. Try driving down the road and seeing how long you can go with just fully being present. Meaning all you're doing is seeing the cars, seeing the trees, and that's it. You're just seeing it all go by and you're just, you're not thinking about it. You're not thinking about what you gotta do next. You're not thinking about what song you wanna put on or what podcast. Just try for like 30 seconds. You're not gonna make it 30 seconds, <laughs> but try it for 30 seconds.